In this video, we are going to discuss the language of relation and functions. Relations abound in daily life. People are related to each other in many ways, as parents and children, teachers and students, employers and employees, and many others. In business, things that are both are related to their cost and the amount paid is related to the number of things both. When we say relation, it is a rule that relates values from a set of values. We call that as a domain to a second set of values and we call that as a range. The elements of the domain can be imagined as input to a machine that applies a rule to these inputs to generate one or more outputs. A relation is also a set of ordered pair x and y. For example, a relation R have a set of ordered pair 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 4, 8, 5, 10. So, yung 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 ay tinatawag nating domain. Yung 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 ay tinatawag naman nating range. Okay. A relation is a set as a subset. So, for example, let set A is equal to 1 and 2 and set B is equal to 1, 2, 3 and define a relation R from A to B as follows. So, given the statement that your X and Y is an element of the product of set A and B. So, X and Y is an element of relation R. It means that, so by the... Uh, by this statement, x minus y over 2 is an integer. So, we're going to answer the following questions. State explicitly which ordered pairs in A times B and which are in relation R. Is 1 related to 3? Is 2 related to 3? Is 2 related to 2? What are the domain and range of relation R? Okay, let's answer number one question. So first, we need to get the product of set A and B. So to get the product, so that is 1, 1. So ito yan, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, and 2, 3. So all of this, no? This set of ordered pairs, so isa-isahin natin isa-substitute on the given statement. So, kailangan maging element sila ng relation R kapag ang, ang output nito is an integer. So, kapag hindi, hindi sila element ng relation R. So, unahin natin yung 1 and 1. 1 and 1 is an element of relation R. Why? So, kapag sinaptitute natin on the given statement na kung saan, ay dapat integer ang sagot natin. So, pag sinabi natin integers, so, yan ay included dyan yung negative number, 0 and positive numbers. Since the output is 0 and 0 is an integer, so therefore, 1 and 1 is an element of relation R. Next, 1, 2. 1, 2 is not an element of relation R. Why? Kapag sinaptitute natin, negative one half fraction na makukuha, makukuha nyo. So, this is not an integer. 1, 3 is an element of relation R. Why? So, kapag sinaptitit natin on the given statement, makukuha natin negative 1. And negative 1 is an integer. So, ibig sabihin, 1 and 3 is an element of relation R. Next, 2 and 1 is not an element of relation R. Why? So, ano makukuha natin kapag sinaptitute natin yung 2 and 1 sa given statement? So, makukuha natin 1 half. And 1 half is not an integer. Another, 2 and 2 is an element of relation R. Why? So, makukuha natin dyan 0. So, 0 is, again, is an integer. Next, 2, 3 is not an element of relation R because negative 1 half is not an integer. Next, so therefore, ano lang yung mga element na 
in relation R. So, that is 1, 1, 1, 3, and 2, 2. Number 2 question, is 1 related to 3? Is 2 related to 3? Is 2 related to 2? So, given yung sagot natin kanina, so dito natin pagbabasihan yung sagot natin sa question number 2. So, is 1 related to 3? Yes, because 1 and 3 is an element of relation R. And then, 2 is related to 3? The answer is no, because 2 and 3 is not an element of relation R. Saan yan? Ito yan. Because negative 1 half yung output natin dyan. And negative 1 half is not an integer. Next, is 2 related to 2? The answer is yes. Because 2 and 2 is an element of relation R. Question number 3. What are the domain and range of R? So in the given problem, set A is our X values, right? And set B is our Y values. So therefore, the domain for relation R is 1 and 2 and the range for set uh, for this given, so that is our B, that is 1, 2, and 3. Function, when you say function, it is a relation where each element in the given, uh, in the domain is related to only one value in the range by sum rule. Next, it is the element of the domain can be imagined as input to a machine that applies a rule so that each input correspond to only one output. So, kanina, nung dinify natin si relation, so, yung output niya, it, uh, it's pwedeng maging one or more output. Pero kapag function, dapat meron lang siyang only one output. Another, a function is a set of ordered pairs, x and y, such that no two ordered pairs have the same x value but different y values. So, tatandaan natin to. Dapat walang dalawang ordered pairs na merong same x values. At dapat meron silang different y values or magkaiba yung output dapat nila. Okay. Function can be represented in different ways. So, kagaya ng a table of values, ordered pairs, graph, and equation. So, makikita natin. So, we can represent function in these four different ways. So, which of the following relation are function? Which of the following relation are function? First, relation F is equal to 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 5, 4, 5. So, function ba yan? Yes, it is a function. Bakit? Walang x, wala tayong x value na naulit. So, in relation G, we have 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, and 3, 7. So, function ba siya? This is not a function. Bakit? Meron tayong dalawang x value na naulit. So, tatandaan natin, kapag given ang ordered pair, dapat isang x value lang dapat. Okay? Next. In relation H, we have 1, 3, 2, 6, 3, 9, up to n, 3n. So, in this given, function ba siya or not a function? Of course, that is a function. So, pag sinaptitute natin yung value natin dito, hindi pa rin tayo makakuha ng x value na naulit. So, therefore, relation h is a function. Okay, also, function can be represented using mapping diagrams. So, in the first mapping diagram, so, tingnan natin, uh, our x values ay merong unique output. Ibig sabihin, 1 to 1 sila. So, sa isang x values, mayroong isang y value. So, ngayon, that is a function. So, tatandaan natin kapag 1 to 1 using mapping diagram, that is a function. Next. Okay, meron tayong 5, 7 na input or x value na may isang output lang, that is 1. At meron naman tayong 6, 8, and 9 na may isang output lang din. Therefore, 
Ang tawag naman natin dito is many to one. Kapag many to one, that is also a function. Okay? Tatandaan natin, kapag one is to one or many to one, that is a function. Okay? In the third mapping diagram, meron tayong seven corresponds sa dalawang y value natin. Ibig sabihin, si, uh, si 7 merong 11 and 13. So, ang tawag naman natin dito ay 1 to many. So, kapag 1 to many class, that is not a function. Tatandaan yan. Ulitin ko lang, kapag 1 to 1, that is a function. Many to 1, that is also a function. But, if that is 1 to many, that is not a function. The vertical line test, this is a graph represent a function if and only if each vertical line intersect the graph at most once. So, ginagamit natin sa vertical line test para ma-identify natin kung ang graph ba ay function or not a function. So, kapag ginuhitan mo yun ang vertical line at isang point lang doon sa graph, ang madadaanan niya, yan ay function. Pero kapag Ginuhitan mo yun ang vertical line test sa kahit anong parte ng graph at meron kang madadaanan ng two or more point dun sa graph, yan ay not a function. So, for example, in this graph, okay, so kapag ginuhitan natin to ng vertical line test kahit sa ang parte ng graph dyan, isang point lang ang dadaanan natin. Therefore, yan ay function. Next. Dito rin, kung so kahit saan mo guhitan dyan ng vertical line test, isang point lang ng graph ang tatamaan mo. So, function din yan. Next. Also, yung pangatlong graph natin, kahit sa ang party yan, o sa ang party ng graph, guhitan mo ng vertical line, ibig sabihin, isang point lang sa, ng graph na yan ang tatamaan mo o madadaanan mo. Kaya, function din yan. Next. Okay, in the... In this example, so tingnan natin. So, for example, ito, guhitan natin dito ng vertical line. So, ibig sabihin, this is not a function. Kasi, dalawang point ng graph, ito, saka itong nasa baba, ang dinaanan ng vertical line test mo. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ito function. Dapat isang uh, point lang ng graph ang daanan para malaman natin na function siya. So, therefore, this is not a function. This one, uh, this is also not a function kasi pag uh, tines mo using the vertical line, so dalawang point ng graph ang madadaanan natin. Okay, using the equation, we can uh, identify the given equation if that is a function or not. Bakit? Okay, paano ito? This is an example of linear function. So kapag linear, di ba, uh, ang graph niya ay... Uh, vertical, ano, uh, straight line. Tama? So, kapag uh, ginuhitan natin ng vertical line test o ginamitan natin ng vertical line test yung graph ng linear function, which is straight line, isang point lang dun sa graph ang tatamaan natin. So, tatandaan nyo kapag linear, okay, in the degree of 1, function agad yan. Also, kapag quadratic function. Kapag quadratic function, tatandaan natin. Linear function, quadratic function is a function also. Bakit? Ang graph, di ba, ng quadratic function is a parabola. So, kapag ginu yung parabola, pag ganyan. So, kapag ginuhitan mo yun ng vertical line test, wala kang uh, madadaanan na dalawa o mahigit pa sa dalawang point ng graph. Tatandaan nyo, kapag linear and quadratic ay function na yan. This one, so ito ang hindi function. Tandaan nyo, kapag may squared yung y nyo, ito. So kapag may squared yung y, that is not a function. Bakit? So kapag nilipat natin sa x squared dun sa kabila, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang value ng y. Okay. Next. Okay, y is equal to square root of x plus 1. This is also a function. Next y is equal to 2x plus 1 over x minus 1, also a function. Okay, kapag green up natin ito, makikita nyo na walang, uh, in, 
walang dalawa o mahigit pa ang sa dalawa ang dadaanan ng vertical line test. So, ito lang yung tatandaan nyo sa number 3. Kapag may squared yung y nyo. So, automatic that is not a function. Next. In evaluating a function, so, for example, q of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2 when your x is equal to 2. So, ang gagawin lang natin, papalitan nyo lang yung lahat ng x nyo ng 2. Okay, papalitan natin ng 2. So, magiging 2 squared minus 2 times 2. So, tinanggal natin si x, pinalitan natin ng 2. Tinanggal natin si x dyan, pinalitan natin ng 2. And then, simplify. 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 times 2, that is negative 4 plus 2. 4 minus 4, that is 0 plus 2. Ibig sabihin, yung q of 2 is equal to 2. Another We have f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 when your x is 3x minus 1. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Papalitan nyo lang yung x ng 3x minus 1. So, f of 3x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 1. So, papalitan natin ang x ng 3x minus 1. And then, distribute natin yung 2 sa loob ng parenthesis. So, 2 times 3x, that is 6x. 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2 plus 1. So, and then simplify. I-combine similar terms. Since wala namang kasamang may one variable itong 6x natin, so just copy. Then negative 2 plus 1, the answer is negative 1. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.